Hello, Tracy here, and I am going to show you the lighting that I found. And I've mentioned it, I mentioned it a few layouts back. And I have, I continue to be very happy with what I've put together. Extremely happy, actually. And I had a couple of people mention it and ask about where had I gotten the lights and, and um, where to find them and such. And, you know, how do they clip on? Do they, how do they attach? Blah, blah, blah. So I decided to go ahead and do a video showing the lighting. And if you're not interested in lighting, then this video will be extraordinarily boring to you. But as a scrapbooker, I have found that the difference between good lighting and bad lighting is the difference between fun and enjoyment versus frustration. So, because this, you know, I used to be so frustrated with the lighting and I'm going to show you, um, here, I'll, I'll, let me, I'm going to pause it and I'll show you what I mean about where I scrap from, uh, so you could see the natural light that comes in and et cetera, et cetera. And then I'll show you my lighting. So I'll be right back. Okay. So, well, let me show you. Here's my little table that I scrap from. And that's, you know, the video camera is usually faced up like this, going down on that mat or, you know, whatever I use there. Sometimes I use my craft paper too. Um, so that's the natural light coming in and you can see the fence there. Our yard is teeny, teeny tiny. And so the houses around us kind of block some of the light and trees and stuff. But you'd think I have all those windows but it's still not light in here. It's a strange thing. So I think partly it's because it's high, high ceilings. But anyway, I put myself on a mission to get better lighting because I knew it was possible. And I looked up camera lighting and all kinds of stuff and everything was a fortune. And then there's the good old Ot lights, which I do have one. I actually have three and I used to scrapbook with all three. One of them is in our garage now and it, it is a floor lamp. And so I would use that floor lamp and I would use this lamp. And then I had a smaller one that I would use and they just were not enough light and they would cast a shadow because the thing is long and they just, it just wasn't the ideal light. I, even though it's alt lights and alt lights are great, it just was not, um, good enough <laughs> for me. So, uh, and then my husband put this together, this thing for me to put my camera and it goes over my whole table and it's huge and obnoxious, but uh, was, you know, he slapped some wood together and put it together. And then my camera attaches right there, screws onto that screw. And, and so that's where I film from. And I started thinking about, so then I started researching light and how to get, you know, like true sunlight and, and what is an ot light and what makes it better, et cetera, et cetera. And I learned that ot lights have the measure is 5K, 5,000K, excuse me. That is the measure of color to light or blah, blah, blah. I don't totally get the science, but that's the measurement on an ot light. It's 5,000K, and that's the light you're looking for. So then I started researching what other light bulbs have 5,000K, and it turns out there's tons you can get them cheaper and they're, you know, if you get fluorescent lights, you can actually find fluorescent lights that are 5,000 K. However, that's what I actually have on this, this light right here. Um, just because I didn't, you know, I was buying a lot of light bulbs and it was starting to add up 
expense wise but they take time to heat up and and then even even when they're at full light they don't seem to light as well to me I don't know I'm probably wrong but I just don't like them as much so then I found these bulbs this bulb right here which they're amazing like I can touch that it's been on for a really long time and I can touch it and it doesn't it's not hot and they are, I bought them at Home Depot. It's like their kind of store brand. I apologize. I cannot remember the name of the brand. I did mention it, I believe, in my old video. But so I bought those lights and those were uh, about $21 each, 21 something versus, you know, $40, $45 for a name brand like Philips or whatever. So these are the Home Depot brand. And then... I got these cans and these are just in the construction well they're in the light fixture aisle at my Home Depot but they're for construction workers they take them and they they clip them wherever they want them to go like if they're working on a ladder oh, I don't know if I can do this with while I'm holding the camera there we go so see it clips and so it's made to for construction again for them to clip it anywhere they go. Oh, I can't do it while I'm on while I'm holding the camera. There we go, I got it. Sorry if I just jiggle you all over. So you know, you can put it on a ladder or whatever, but I am able to just clip them right to this spot where I work. So I'm gonna turn off the lights and then turn them back on one at a time and you'll see. So there's the ot light. And that made a difference. This light. So that's just my natural light. Well, I do have can lights panning too fast. I have a couple of pan can lights, and those have daylight 5,000K uh, in them. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but that's the only, that's as much lighting as I get from those. So. Here's the alt light turned on. Again though, as soon as I would move this into the way so that I could get enough light, then you could see that. So they just weren't quite the right shape and they're not enough lumens. So they don't light up enough. Even though it's the right light, the right color of light, it's not enough power in an alt light. And they are expensive. This little desk lamp, I think, was $50. The, the floor lamp was over $100. So I spent a fortune. These, I got the bulb for 20 and like I said, 21 something. And that little can was $8. I think it was on sale. So regularly, I think they're $10. So between the two of these lights, I spent 50 bucks. So now let's look at the difference. So that's the Ot light on. That's one can. And that's two cans. So it just, you know, it's great lighting for very cheap. So if it if this helps even one or two people, I'll be thrilled. You know, I mean again, I know it's hideous. It's so ugly, this thing. But I don't really care because I'm scrapbooking. I want good light. So, you know, someday when I have a scrap room, I'll be able to set it up better and it, I will be able to do something pretty. And you can put these lights. They don't have to go in these ugly cans. The, the benefit of the cans is that you can clip them anywhere to anything and have them light up your spot. I mean, look at that. That's just so lit up. I love it. So, anyway... Um, I hope it helps somebody and you find lighting and I mean I don't know maybe I'm alone in my struggles with lighting but I certainly am not struggling anymore I'm thrilled and uh, if I would have known before I bought those ot lights that I could do it this way ugh, I would have saved that money and I mean really the truth is I want another can and then I'm going to do away with that desk lamp. I'm going to put another can coming from the other side. 
coming from behind the camera there. I would like to do that. The only thing is that it shines into my face and they are really good bright light and it's like having sunlight in your face. So, but, um, the, it's really a lot more light than the Ot light provides. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody and, uh, let me know your thoughts and I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.